Welcome back to the Swamplands of the Mississippi Acres. Here we are today, and this time I'm going to be showing you my secret way to hunt alligators. All right, so first off, I'm going to show you my top three favorite spots of all time to hunt the alligator on the Mississippi Acres map. My favorite spot to hunt them is actually up here on the north end of the map by Needle Hollow. And what I like to do is hunt here at 9 o'clock in the morning. All these lakes here around Gator Lakes are excellent for gators. But then this spot right here is also excellent as well, Punella. So you want to come here at 9 o'clock in the morning and work your way around these lakes. The second spot is over here by Horseshoe Bend. You set up a tent right here and work your way along the edge of this river. The only problem with this spot here is that it's really deep. So if you shoot an alligator and it goes into this river, it's gone. You're never going to see it again. But I would recommend coming here at about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And my third and final favorite spot for alligators is over here by Three Gabbles. This area here is really, really good for alligator. Um, we're just south of the Great River Lodge. This kind of channel and all these little bayous and stuff are loaded with gators. The hard part about this spot is that you can't see them until you're right on top of them. So you kind of want to have a tent on one of these points, whether it's here, here, or here. That way you're looking into the swamplands. And you want to hunt here around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. He's a six. He's not a bad size one. We're going open sights here. Got him. Third shot is a charm. But as you can see, once it gets to this side, it's deep and you're never going to see it again. So it only had a few more steps and it would have made it there. But cool looking one. Oh, we double lunged him two times. Holy crap. I think he would have been a gold too. Holy, that's a giant gator there. That's a level seven max weight gator. He's about 280 yards out. But one thing that I will say is the location that we're at right here by Gator Lakes, I do believe if we get a vital hit, the alligator will float back up to the surface and we'll be able to get them. What I think happens is if you shoot them on the river, you cannot get them. But I think if you get them on the lakes and you make a vital hit, you will be able to get them. So in this case here, what we want to try and do is get, well, obviously we want to try and get behind the neck there. But if we can't, I would love to be able to try and put a vital hit into this thing. And so we can at least know if we can get it or not. All right, so just to be able to figure this out before we go over and mess up that level seven gator, I really don't want to do that. So we're going to try and take down this female here at 220 yards. And we're going to see if we make a perfect lung shot. If she goes into this water here, we can actually get her. I mean, that might have even been a heart shot, to be honest. Put one more into her. Yeah, we definitely got a vital hit because the percentage is going down slowly. Now let's keep an eye on her. There she is right there. 25%. And any second now, she's going to flip over. Watch. And there we go. All right, guys. So now you know. That's some pretty incredible news. If you're trying to hunt a gator, the alligators will float back up to the top of the surface. And you'll be able to retrieve them. So that's kind of my goal. I'm going to try and get a nine legendary gator over here. And all you need is one good lung shot. And eventually it will take it down and it will float back up to the top. In the meantime, check this out. Here's our female that we took at 250 yards. Man, she looks so cool too. Flesh. Are you kidding? Come on. Come on game. Are you kidding me right now? I've never raged in a game before, and I'm about to right now. Are you kidding me? That's a heart shot. 100% heart shot all day long. It went right through the bottom of the heart. Right through the heart. And then we got skull, flesh, skull. And eventually it did go down, but... <laughs> you gotta be kidding me about that shot. Anyways, let's see if we can't take one down here at 320. Oh, we what the heck did we hit? What the heck did we hit? 
Here she is, guys. She's laying right over here. So she basically did a backflip, and uh, that's vital blood. I wish I could say that I was trying to do that because that's a perfectly centered neck shot there. But I was trying to catch the heart, and we shot a little bit high. A quartering shot, though, right behind the shoulder and still caught the neck. So that goes to show you that the neck's actually quite a bit further back than what you think. What if you go right above the shoulder there and try and catch the neck? What if you go right above the leg, all the way up, and straight up, right there? What if you try that? I'm going to try that next time. All right, here we go. We got another really good level 6 gator out here, 160 yards out. But I think I want to try and hold it right above that front shoulder again and try and catch that. Got him. Money shot right there. That worked perfect. That's what I'm going to start doing from now on. Hold it right above the leg and catch a little bit further back in the neck. But here's our big old level six. Let's pick him up and see how we did. There we go. A neck shot 185 yards out. And again, right above that shoulder there. As you can see, I followed up his leg and put it right there. Perfect shot. 372. So he actually didn't quite make gold, but still a pretty good gator down. Ooh, look what we just found. That's a giant level seven out there, 400 yards away. But where he's laying is absolutely perfect to be able to get an awesome shot. Remember what I told you yesterday, when his mouth is open, you wanna hold back right to the very back part of that crease, not just the mouth, right to the back part of his dimple. And again, that's where kind of the front shoulder comes into play. Basically, you wanna hold it right above that front shoulder, but you don't wanna go forward. Well, you can actually go forward a little bit. You don't want to go back is what you don't want to do because if you go back, you're going to hit the vertebrae or spinal cord and that's not going to give you full score. But there he is right there, 320 yards out from us, guys. Ooh, this is pretty cool. I'm excited about this. I'm really excited about this. All right. The wobble is real, though. Let me back up a little bit. And attempt to crouch. Do we really have to take a standing shot? Okay, no. Good, good, good. Oh, man. I freaking messed it up. The second shot must have got it, guys. He's at 25%. I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm super, super happy. He's at 25%. Just cruising along the shore like that. Look at him. You thought that last one was big? Look at the size of this thing. 400 minimum to 479. Holy, that's a giant. Um, I still haven't found our other gator. He didn't float back up to shore yet, so I don't know where in the heck he went. But uh, for the time being, I'm super excited about getting this giant level seven. All right, here we go. Oh, hello. Hello there, big fella. Oh, don't go underwater. Smoked him! Smoked him, baby! Yes! We got him! Oh, boy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He just floated. What the heck? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I see one gator coming this way, guys. Check this out. Our gator finally came up to the top of the water. I do believe that's the uh, first one that we got. And the second one we just drilled as he was cruising through here at 180. I don't know where he went, but he should be floating up here any minute now. If not, then he should be over there by that shore. Yes, there he is! There he is! We got two big gators coming right to us! Oh my god, this is awesome! Oh, we made a pretty good shot of that second one, I'm not gonna lie. That was a perfect shot. He was swimming, we had to hold a little bit of lead on him, took the shot, and just crushed him. This first one, though, I really don't know where we hit. But all I know is, here he comes right here. They're both big. They're both real big. Real, real big. The second one's a giant, but the first one's still big. Man, this is awesome. This is so awesome. All right, here he comes. What we could probably do is try and take a really cool picture of this. I think we're going to do that. Let's uh, try and slow this guy down. I wonder if that's going to work, actually. Because he's going to keep on floating to the spot that we took the shot. And then this guy's coming in over here as well. 
Well, let's do that. Let's try and get a really, really cool picture of this. I mean, it's not every day you have two big old level sevens in the same photo. So let's definitely get a really cool picture. There's one for now. And I'm not exactly sure where he's going to go. I think he's going to go a little more left because that's where we were over on that side over there. So I we'll have to back up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Two big sevens in the same picture. <laughs> oh, look how cool that is. Oh, man, that's awesome. Let's try and get over here now. How about that? His head's underwater a little bit, but that'll do. That'll do, guys. Okay, so this one here is the first one that we got. And we hit him three times. Okay, so it looks like this guy here... Wow. 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 We were a tad bit too low. Or were we too low or we just hit that shoulder? What I think happened is we were maybe like an inch too far to the right. And we clipped that shoulder. Or even if his leg was back, then we wouldn't have hit that shoulder. We would have hit right here, which would have been perfect. But because his leg was forward like that, oh man, that was close. That was real close. Then even the second shot was close as well. We were just a little far back for that second shot. But he's actually a dark brown, so that's pretty cool. And uh, he's not going to be a gold because we hit him three times and we didn't get a vital out of all those shots. But that's all right. We definitely got a vital on this guy here. And this is our biggest one. Let's have a look at him. That's going to be a 426.20 gold. And we made an awesome neck shot. 180 yards out on the swim. <laughs> we just clipped the neck there. As you can see, we hit the top of that neck bone. And it dropped him right there. All right, guys, here we go again. We're looking at about 250 yards. And again, hold it right above that front shoulder there. This is going to be kind of tough because I can't see him unless we spot him. But let's see if we can't uh, get on him quick enough here. Yeah, I'm not going to rush this. I'm definitely not going to rush this shot. All right, here we go. Oh, that was perfect. Yes, we got him. Another awesome shot, and there he lays. <laughs> All right, here lays our gator down, right over here. I believe this was a level six, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it was a six, and a 245-yard middle neck shot. Perfect shot there. We actually dropped a hair low, but still, a nice shot, and another alligator down. 367, just shy of being a gold. Well, since we're pretty sure that the alligators that we shoot on this lake here are going to actually float to the surface, what I want to do now is try and sneak up on this big old gator here and take him down with the bow. So we're going to try and get into under 50 yards and put a nice lung shot or potentially a double lung heart shot on this gator here. And either way, it should float up into this water here. Eventually, if we give it enough time, it should float up to the surface. All right, guys, we just snuck up to 80 yards out from this giant gator. He's laying right there. We got to get just a little bit closer. All right, here we go. We made it into position. And we definitely cannot go prone here. There he is right there, 68 yards away. Now, I don't know if we can get any closer than this, guys. This is awesome, but he is quartering away and you can see if we put it right in there, we could definitely make an awesome shot. So I think if we could zero in for 60, I would love to take that shot. 69. Okay. That'll work. But I just can't see him good enough for a shot. I'm not going to take that. All right, here we go. I 
I think we smoked him, guys. It looked really good. All right, he's into the water. It's going to be a long while until we figure out how good we actually did hit this gator. But if he was right there, no freaking way. He's coming in. He's coming right to us. He's 40 yards away. Oh my God, he's 40 yards away. <gasps> there he is. <gasps> What's he going to do? All right, we're gonna draw back. Oh my God, we smoked him. That was the coolest thing ever right there. <laughs> Tucked it right behind his armpit. Where'd he go? Oh, that was the coolest thing. What is happening? What do you call that? Are you absolutely kidding me? That's a heart shot. That's a heart shot right there. That is a heart shot. And that's a lung shot. We tucked it right between the armpit and the lung. So... I don't know what is going on with the hitbox on this, but uh, that shot right there should have been a smoke gator at 64 yards. He should have been laying right there. This happened two times. Once with the um, 303 British and now once with the bow. But that's not what's important. What's important is now we know in this location here, it is definitely possible to take down a diamond alligator with the bow. I'm not even mad about that. Like both of these shots were money. That shot right there was, it's, it's just like a perfect shot. The second shot right there was also another amazing shot too. As he was turning away, I knew he started turning when we took that shot. So it was a little bit risky, but still that should have caught lung, like a single lung, a hundred percent. Oh my God, there he is. How do we do? We got lung. We got him. Oh my god, we got him. We got him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? So excited about this. I gotta keep an eye on our gator. There he goes. I see him. He's going under the water. Alright, I last saw him right there. He was headed this direction. That's definitely vital blood, guys. We were sitting there, basically ambushing that alligator. We were waiting, and he came up to us less than 15 yards away. And I held for the heart and let one fly. And it must have been a good shot because we got vital blood. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Check that out right there. There's our gator. He just floated up to the surface right there. Oh my God. That's so cool. All right. So here's where we hit him. Definitely made a vital shot. And here's our gator right out here. Well, he's not a gold, but he's definitely a nice size one. And we made an awesome left lung shot at 11 yards away with the bow. So I guess, uh, man, we are coming so close to that heart. We hit right behind it there. What a cool shot though. As you could see, he was facing directly at us. So we kind of had to take a front on shot 
And we put it in there pretty nicely, but ended up pulling off a left lung shot at 11 yards out and got another really nice alligator down with the bow. How cool is this? Look at this gator coming in here, guys. We're sitting in a gator hole right now. We're in the brush and this gator is about to come right past us. Now, when he comes into range, which he's about to, he is 30 yards away from us right now. Oh my God. <gasps> Here he comes. <sighs> what I would kind of like to do is try for a back of the neck shot with a bow, but I really don't know if we're going to have enough time to try and do that. Let's see what happens here, guys. We did it! Holy crap! We just did it! Oh! Oh! We did it! We dropped him! With the bow! Oh my god! I couldn't even imagine. If this thing scores gold... I don't know if it's going to, but... It's not going to, but we dropped him at 12 yards away, right in the back of the neck with the bow. Our first gator down with one single shot and the bow, and it's a dark brown level six, 368, so a little bit shy of gold, but that was incredible to drop him with the bow. Man, that was awesome. Anyways, that was awesome, and I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful, and I hope that you guys get yourselves a giant diamond alligator once this thing comes out. It's a lot of fun, but it's very, very difficult, so hopefully this helps you guys out. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.